Hello and welcome to Joker Gaming. My name is Broke Joker, and today we will be doing part four of our Germany No Step Back DLC build. If you missed the first three parts of this build, go ahead and click on the icon on top right corner of your screen now. That being said, let's get into it. All right, now be last time we were here, we left off by completing all of our ships, all of our ship templates. Uh, and we also did our tank, so if you missed that, be sure to check out the prior videos. Now, we are almost done with Spain. We're on January 5th, 1938. So now what I want you guys to do is start pumping troops out. So now we need uh, one infantry division of 24, and we are army of 24, and we need 12 others uh for when we actually Anschluss um, Austria, they give us 12 now instead of instead of 10. So go ahead and start doing that now. I need you guys to do 24. Go. They they don't need to have their their equipment be prior, uh, high priority. We just need to have them start producing. Go ahead and do 12. Also, it doesn't matter if we don't have the guns yet. We will. And then pop these guys out at Westphalen. And we are done with that. Now, make sure that our stuff has gone. So our um, spies should have already taken off. They should have 73 days left. We already have the bonus. So if you did not have planes in your reserve like I told you to, then um, or your fighters in reserve like I told you to, then you would not get that bonus for about half the time. Now, we are building... Uh, we are building dockyards, so make sure if you haven't done that, you do that now, and let's go ahead and keep on going. Now, um, I was told, or asked, why I wasn't just going straight for Madrid, so we want to go ahead and make sure to grind out as much experience from this situation as possible. I get it, manpower and production and, you know, all that stuff, but we want as much, uh, XP as possible, because we have to put that into our tanks, we have to put that into our templates, into our, um, uh, also our doctrines we have a lot of xp we need to account for so <laughs> let's go ahead and try to get as much as possible now um now obviously yours is gonna look differently than mine of course you know disregard this guy i don't know what he's doing he's going to a rave or something but go ahead if i'm gonna go ahead and surround this guy oh i can't i mean i can but you know they're gonna suck while doing it so it just makes sure that, uh, you know, they're not trying to break out or anything. And then now we have uh, Align Romania. Now, from here, what we are going to do is go ahead and do Army Innovations too. That's going to give us two 50% uh, cost reductions to Land Doctrine and one to our tanks, right? So this is going to give us our tank chassis 100% um, reduction on our bonus research speed on that. Okay, next, let's go ahead and modify our government. So what we are going to do here is we are going to go ahead and get the Army army and Logistics guy. Go ahead and make sure to get him. And then keep on going. Make sure that we... Oh, look it. So we took Valencia. So yeah, that guy didn't have any chance. And now let's go ahead and go for the kill by going for Madrid. Oh, oh. If you hold down control, you can actually move where this arrow goes. Like, see how it was over here? I don't want him going through, you know, that tile. So... We will have them go straight for Madrid and hopefully end this. I know this is running a little bit late, but we'll be okay. If you already finished your your Spain, good for you. Normally, I'd do this faster, but this is a slow, slow game. So, okay. Now our, um, now our co uh, computing machine is now done. So, we are now going to go ahead and put that right back into our Navy and start doing firefight fighting uh, drills. So go ahead and start doing that now. Firefighting drills one, if I wasn't being specific enough. And then make sure that your guys aren't doing what my guys are doing and attacking the wrong square like a bunch of freaking d ditties over here. So go ahead and make sure that you you that they are attacking the right square. Even though I said, told them which square to attack, they decided to attack elsewhere. Now, radio detection is now done. And uh, disometric radar is our next... Uh, research so go ahead and do that now keep on going we do have outdated equipment let's see what that is our sean horse class okay great you know we already put our ships that we are going to be building here and we are popping out uh 
we are popping out dockyard. So make sure you keep an eye on this. We want to make sure that um, it, once the dockyards, it, once these finish, we're going to pop more up there. Okay. Th this is how I build. A lot of diff a lot of uh, other people who do builds, they want you to do like mills first and then sieves. This makes sure that we're always building sieves. All right. We're going to be old, always building si sieves, always building mills and or mills or you know synthetics and we're always going to be building uh dockyards right so it's going to give us a plethora of everything without being you know uh sufficient in one sector and then being really deficient in another so that's why i do it this way i find this is better than just doing it one at a time so okay our uh Im improved infantry equipment one is now done let's go ahead and do uh, our MG34 and five cent and five centimeter Grunta Werfer 36s. <laughs> Weapons and equipment too. Uh, all right, we can now uh, modify our government again, and now we are going to go ahead and do decisive battle. I've seen uh, lately they've been going for the for uh, uh, Carl Donitz, right? He gives you the plus twenty percent to convoy rating, and uh, he gives you more naval experience. But the thing is, is I, I would rather have, because we are going to have capital ships screening ships, right? And um, so I'd rather have those plus 10s, because we get plus 10s to like four different things, and we get a little bit less naval XP. I'd rather have that than just the convoy rating buff by 20%. We're going down that, that tree anyways, right? So uh, I'd rather get um, pluses to things that we aren't really going to be working on. Or, you know, I, I'm trying to help out our surface fleet a little bit. So let's go ahead and keep on going. Now, uh, you're going to be constantly getting this resource pop-up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about your doctrines yet either. So you are going to get this type of, of uh, front line where it, it completely encircles things. Oh, look, we took out Madrid. Congratulations for us. Now, don't worry about that. It, just go ahead and hold down control. And if you hold down the right mouse button, you can move it up and down. All right, you can you can adjust it however you want it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and keep pushing on in here. Let's see if these guys can actually move in. Come on. Let's just go ahead and split these guys. Let's see if we can move your butt. See, it did it again. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Watch, it's gonna move again. Let's see if it does it again. Oh, it's a miracle! Look at that. It did it again. Great, great frontline work by uh, Paradox Gaming. It's amazing. Uh, amazing. So now that we are here, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, cut them off. We're about 80. Oh, yeah, we're going to make it. I don't know why. Did they move their capital again? Oh, they did. It's in Malaga. So, so that's the three spots it's going to be. So it's going to be, if they move their capital, it's going to be Madrid, then uh, Malaga down here, and then it'll move to Valencia. Sometimes it'll move from uh, from Madrid to Valencia to Malaga, but um, just know that those are the three spots that you need to make sure to look at. So now our national focus is complete. Uh, so go ahead and do a line hungry. We just ran out of fuel, so make sure just buy two from Romania. So, uh, Romania will be our puppet later, so we want to give them a little extra oomph of, uh, of sieves. So, go ahead and make sure to do that now and see. There we go. We are fuel efficient now. And just go ahead and keep on fighting it out. All right, our heavy fighter is now complete, and we are going to move back over into our navy. So, go ahead and do some smoke generators. This gives our fleet uh, speed while retreating, plus 20%, so it makes sure that our, our fleet can hurry up and get out of there. Um, now... Uh, at this point of the build, you can do carriers, right? So this is pretty much, uh, we're just pretty much solidifying what we have right now for our tier 2 ships. You know, improving our catapult, getting better depth charge, b better depth charges. But the thing is, is you can also just go ahead and start doing carriers and get up to carriers too right now if you wanted. Uh, be sure to look out for the future build where we do that. But for right now, I want you guys to go ahead and do smoke generators. And then just go ahead and keep on going. We are almost done with Spain, hopefully. And now, oh, look at our general has has finally uh, leveled up. So let's go ahead and get infantry expert on him. Keep on going. The cipher for Poland is now complete. So now go ahead and start the cipher for France. That is what we want. 
Poland and France. Keep on going. Don't worry about um, becoming Spy Master yet. We'll do that later. If you guys are not used to Spy Master, do not become the Spy Master. You can let your allies do it. I, I believe they do do spy stuff. I don't know for a fact. I haven't checked, but uh, I'm pretty sure they might be doing it. <laughs> All right, our, uh, our artillery too is now done. So go ahead and pop it over into Marines, Marine Ones. Do that now and go ahead and keep on going. We are almost complete. All right, and don't forget about our spies. So our first operation is now done. So first person that we put in Poland was this lady. Now let's go ahead and get this auto, auto score. I'm not saying that. Let's go ahead and get this guy, your second spy some experience now because every single time that they build up a network they get experience right so go ahead and have your second guy start doing that now um and d just leave the other spy in your homeland do not put them in poland or yugoslavia or anywhere like that because what's going to happen is if they get caught we're going to have to pull our spy out of france in order to go rescue them all right or if our spy in france gets caught we're gonna have to pull them out anyways it's gonna be a waste so just just don't worry about it all right we are now doing a line hungry. Uh, some of our troops that we were building popped out. So we have 29, but we only need 24. So if you hold down shift and left click on them, you can exile them into the darkness and go ahead and hit the plus mark. Z left click them up here into the, into Prussia. Now what we're going to do is I, I always put this horse guy, Maximilian von Weichs. Sure. Put him on. And then uh, he is going to be in the same in the same uh, army group as uh, these three right here. So these three are all going to be together. So uh, what I like to do is I like to put little icons on them once I know that I have completed, like upgraded their general, and that they're done. Right. So him, he is my little he is my little sub guy. He oh I have to change the color too, and he is blue. So go ahead and make sure you hold down shift, left click, make sure that they are exercising. Now you can do this for the rest of your generals too. I put the little, I think it's a horse right here. That's either a horse or, yeah, that's a horse. So the little horse icon and you can, I do Erwin von Winselblem, Winselben, him, him. And then this last one right here, uh, he is the shield and I have him I have this general because they are this is the army that's on the border of France and they kind of need defending. I put uh Albert 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 Kesselring. <laughs> Jeez, I couldn't get that one out. So go ahead and do that now if you are so inclined. And these last five guys, let's go ahead and uh, Z left click them over here on the border with uh with Belgium. What you can do is you can now form our first army group. So what I want you guys to do is switch this guy all the way to white, put the V for victory on him, and then we will add the general, uh, Wilhelm Ritter von Lieb. That is our guy. So go ahead and do that now, and we can now modify our government. So go ahead, let's go ahead and do that now. So we are aligning Hungary right now, so we want to go ahead and put our light aircraft designer on. Uh, if you are doing... Uh, carriers and you and you're gonna be heavy into them you want the the Dornier right uh, naval aircraft designer that gives you a bunch of bonuses to uh, your naval naval bombers carrier fighters sea carrier cast and oh and naval bombers even get a plus to it too so if you are going that route and you're just gonna be pumping out a bunch of CVs go ahead and do that but for right now we are a mainland air force, so go ahead and do the Messerschmitt, and let's go ahead and keep on rocking. Now, this should be almost done, and then we are going to save up our command power to send an attaché to um, to uh, Japan. Go ahead, you guys can just pop all those guys out since they are probably ready. Add them to their army. Yugoslavia fighter competition. It gives us 20 air XP. Sure. Go ahead. Make sure that these guys, unlike me, are exercising. All right. Fighter drills one is now done. Let's go ahead and do fighter dr fi uh, separate fire mains. Let's go ahead and do that now. Keep on a rolling. National Spain is now is now. Uh, sole owner of Spain, so we are now done. Make sure you modify your Lend-Lease and take your guns back, all right? 
I, I, I know that they've done this recently where sometimes it'll actually cancel your lend lease, but just make sure that you get them back, all right? We don't want to be constantly giving them guns, you know, depriving our poor guys of guns. So go ahead and make sure to do that. Now, your, your sieves should be complete. So let's go ahead and add more sieves and and uh, dockyards. Let's go ahead and keep doing that now. We are a little behind on pop putting those up, but we should be okay. So our guys are now out. Let's go ahead and change this template. This is going to be our garrison template, so that way we're not putting a bunch of manpower in. So let's go ahead and remove all these, and then I want you guys to add... 20 with cavalry, and this is going to be our garrison unit. So go ahead and save, and then click on the flag. Go to occupied territories. Click on the click on the little icon up here. Then go ahead and change it to our horse division. We will be adding MPs in later, but that is not now. All right, our men are now back from Spain. Go ahead and consolidate them and add our von, uh, Federer von Buck into it. And since he is complete, we are now going to give him an icon of the skull and crossbones. All right, we have two things now done. Go ahead and uh, what I want you guys to do is... Boop. What I want you guys to do is go ahead and uh, for this one, I want you guys to do... We'll do airplane catapults for 53 days. And then I want you guys to go ahead and do improved uh, de decimetric radar too. This is the last one for the radar we will be completing for now. Go ahead and, uh, since all of our guys are now over there, go ahead and bring your tanks over here. So what I want you to do is delete this front line, uh, hit Z, and right-click drag them up here to the to the top where Danzig is, because they are going to be spearing right into Danzig in a little bit, and go ahead and keep on going. Now, we pretty much have enough troops to take out Poland, but I want a little bit more, right? We will be building, we'll, we'll be completely filling out this army group here in a bit with uh, with uh, troops that we will be getting from Austria. And we will be producing just a little bit more tanks. So, for right now, we need to gather up the, the necessary CP and PP in order to go ahead and send the attaché to Japan. So, I have enough. The... Japan has already declared on China, so let's go ahead. We have to ask for their docking rights. Always get docking rights. I don't care what anybody says. And improve diplomatic relations. And then since Alliant Hungary is now done, go ahead and Anschluss now. We are now finally going to Anschluss. So go ahead and do that now. Now we're just going to sit here and wait for Japan to, uh, to like us enough to let us send our attache there. And so that way we can steal their their uh, army xp navy xp and air xp so go ahead as soon as it's above 20 they will let you do it stop improving relations with them and now we will have a vastly better resource for army air and navy xp so go ahead it's now that we have our army groups hold down shift and left click on these three armies hit the plus mark go ahead and grab Wal walter modal Pop them in, and we can also do our tanks, our tanks too. So go ahead, do the same thing, and I want you to get Gunther von Klug. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I probably massacred that, but now, okay. Now our weapons and equipment two is now done. I want you to get the MP38. Continue that now. Now, as soon as we're done with our fire mains, we will be starting on our tank chassis, and we will be upgrading our tank. So let's go ahead and check everything right here. We need our tank is it has been upgraded. So let's go ahead and give him the same model because for some reason it doesn't carry over the same model. Go ahead and do that now. Make sure that you're still on the Panzer 3. Hit save, add it in, get the better artillery up in there, and we also have our heavy fighter. Now I forgot earlier to put the heavy fighter in, but we're doing it now. So go ahead, just steal two from here, drop it down below. We'll put it. We'll put it underneath. Where should we put it? We will put it underneath our trucks. Make it so that it'll be receiving ten. Go ahead and add two back to the artillery, and we'll gain that back in no time. Now 
just go ahead and keep producing. Oh, our airplane catapults are now done. So go ahead and do depth charge thrower. Go ahead and spend the 50 naval XP to do so. See, and it keeps, th this is the one issue with doing the automatic upgrade. It's going to keep doing this. So every little thing now, it's going to keep doing it. So go ahead and if you are so inclined, keep doing that. Now, we are done putting all of our points into our generals. We're pretty much now just waiting for um, foot to Anschluss. So let's go ahead and left click, right click onto uh, onto Romania. Ha send that non-aggression pack. Same thing as Hungary, right? I feel that sending a non-aggression pack to them. So so right now, like they barely like us, you know. So we want them to love us, so that way they join, you know, become our puppet, and because uh, so, that's the route that we're going. So go ahead and make sure you send that non-aggression pact. Separate fire mains is now done. And now, last but not least before we do our tanks, is going to be diesel-powered emergency pumps. So all of these, all this does, right? It gives us a, a chance to receive critical hit by negative 10. And it's pretty much stacking the, these, these uh, negative cri critical hit buffs, right? So that way our ships don't get demolished out there like the real Germany. So go ahead and keep on going and now let's go ahead and keep on checking on our spies see so this guy right here is at 44 as soon as he hits 50 we're going to send him or i think it's about yeah it's about 50 to 60 we're going to send him as soon as as he's available because we want him to hurry up and just hurry up and get done so he's at 46 47 so right now we can make resistant contact i have honestly i think i've done two things out of here it's since law resistance it's pretty much useless to me it's useless to others it might not be but to me it is all right now Anschluss is now done now a lot of builds start doing demands to date land and all that stuff but we need to buy time so that way our guys will join us so go ahead and do naval rearmament hungary is now going to join us great good job hungary hungary saw the light and let's go ahead and now what we are going to do is swap out our production. Now, we need to start doing our trains. I want everything up to level 2, okay? So from the north end, so from here on up, right here, on up, everything needs to be level 2, and everything needs to be up there. So what I like to do here is, anything that, that doesn't have completions on it, we'll just delete it, okay? I know it's kind of a pain in the butt because we just did all this, but we can always get it back later. So go ahead, delete it to bring this up, and just go ahead and look on through. It's a lot of stuff, so that's already two. Just level twos. That's all we need. We don't need anything more than twos, all right? So um, coming out of uh, out of uh, Berlin later on, we will be upgrading that to five. So just two it, two it, two it, two it, two, 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 two. two. Two, 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 two. Make sure that you, that's also the way to if you if you left click on it and drag, or if you left like left click and drag on it, it will uh, do a new rail line. So make sure you don't do that. So um, just go ahead and make sure that all these up are up to two, and we will be doing. So this is for later when we when we uh, invade Denmark. So make sure that you do that one. Now, this looks pretty good. Everything is up to two. This is going to take no time at all for us to complete. And we're going to be right back to building mills. So uh, make sure over here in uh, in Konigsberg, or Eastern Prussia, I'm sorry, uh, that uh, you guys pump these all up to two. And I believe I am now done. You should be done also. If, if you have any concerns on which ones you should be doing, go ahead and look at my construction tab now. I'm going to slowly scroll through it. Boop, boop, boop. Give you guys a little music on that one. All right, that should be all of our construction now. Let's go ahead and just make sure real quick that we did not miss anything. Everything should be one. Now, last but not least, we are going to do a supply hub right here. Right, the distance between supply hubs to me is a little bit eerie. I know we have these ones back here, but we have to push in here a little bit, and I I believe their first supply hub isn't until like here or here. So well, let's go ahead and just uh, pop that one down. These do take longer to build, but it's worth it in the end. Now we will be uh, you know upgrading these bottom ones to level two later, but it, it's not really concerned now. 
So let's just make sure everything is up to level one or two, not one, two. All right, we are good to go. Now let's just go ahead and let that produce. As soon as these mills right here that you uh, that you have completed or that are almost completed or are being worked on are complete, just go ahead and drag them on down or delete them. Anschluss. We have finally Anschluss. So that means we have got troops. So we have a total of 12. So what I want you to do is get the one horse guy that's in that division, hit the plus mark C, left click them or right click them onto the border with Yugoslavia and start exercising them. What I want to do is I want to exercise this guy all the way up to level three before I change him into a tank. All right. That is going to drop him all the way down to level one, but he'll be, at least be a high level one and we're not going to have to, you know, grind experience for him. Now, thing that just made me mad is in all my playthroughs, I never have I seen them just give me uh, one less. So let's go ahead. If you are one less, go ahead and pop that guy out. If not, then you are lucky. You don't have to worry about, about it. So since we are here, we are on September 8th of 1938, we are going to start producing tanks. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to make sure that all of our, um, all of our templates are good. We cannot do our army one yet. I guess we can. Nah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. He, he can he can exercise into it. So we are doing the basic 7-2. I understand that they increase the everything, you know, I increase the, the the ratio of, uh, of templates and everything, but I don't really care. Let's go ahead and do that. I like to change their icon to, you know, whatever. My tanks later on are going to be the unicorns because they're my little unicorn guys. And when they're when they're when I change them again, they're my little rainbow guys. So go ahead, pick whatever icon you want. Make sure they are seven twos with the shovel and the cavalry recon detachment. And Eng that's an engineer company. Just in case you didn't know, go ahead, hit save, exit out. Make make sure our tanks are good. And then go ahead, keep on moving. Uh, we will be using this template here in a little bit. And then we will, this is our cavalry division. We don't have to touch that because we don't have the MPs yet. Now, we need to fix this. This is going to be our coastline defenders, right? So they already have the shovel. We want to make them 10 width. Go ahead, hit save. And that is our, and that is our coastline defenders. Now, let's go ahead and start producing those real quick. So I want six tanks. Make sure you put them on high equipment priority. We want them to pop out as, as fast as possible. And then go ahead and start doing your infantry division, or your, I'm sorry, infantry division template, your garrison template. I, I need 50 of these of uh, these 10 width guys. So go ahead and do that now. No need to give them, you know, equipment priority. Now, our Marines are not done yet. So uh, as soon as our Marines are done, we will be doing that template. And last but not least, let's just go ahead and fix that front line. Last but not least, let's go ahead and modify our government one more time and go ahead and get our, what year, let's go ahead and do our ground support um, chief of Air Force guy right here. His name is Herman Goering, in case you guys didn't know. Now, that is the end of this video, guys. I'm trying to keep these short and sweet. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. And if you love this video, make sure that you can share this. You know, every little bit helps, guys. I really appreciate it. So until next time, guys, keep on living your dream, and I'll see you on the next one.